Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys that long because I don't want to waste y'all time with a whole bunch of nonsense. But there are a few things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so that way you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button for your girl and drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get into today's video. Picture me saying masterpiece and such and such is the devil, which is a lie. All y'all do is twist the truth for what clips, controversy, gossip. I mean, all the good stuff I've done, nobody never posted nothing. You never posted when we went up against one of the biggest cereal companies in the world. You never posted when we had to change our name. It made history and got one of the biggest distribution deals in the world. I guess that wasn't controversial enough. But I just asked the Shade Room, all the other media outlets, to allow my family to grieve and get through this pain that we're going through because I wouldn't wish this pain on no family, not none of y'all. I know God is going to guide us through this. I had a mental illness concert that was going to be on January 13th, which DJ Twitch was supposed to be a special guest. Snoop was supposed to be a special guest. It was with me, ASAP Rock, and Post Malone. Mental illness is real. It's destroying families. I'm going to continue to get out there and do my part. I just want to say I love everybody that's been praying for my family. Y'all know we're going to get through this. Um, losing a child. And I don't know parents that lost a child. People want you to grieve a certain way, do certain things. I mean, my healing comes through helping people, touching people, getting out there. Maybe I couldn't save the people's lives in my family. Maybe the people in my family don't listen. I love them. I always deal with people and deal with family members that go through different things and handle things certain ways. I'm going to continue to put my trust and faith in God. We're going to continue growing as a family. No family is perfect. Rich or poor, we all gonna go through things. I'm not God, I'm no idol. All I can do is help the people that allow me to help. Because I gotta get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't wanna do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo. Like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a 30 something year old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you wanna be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you wanna do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people, but you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought it was about the DJ Twitch uh, post I put up, and I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought you was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know debt, it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world. Now I can get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people could go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. All you got to do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me. The saddest thing about this, this is what the people want to see. They want to see destruction. So if you destroy me, what are you going to do for the rest of the family? Are you going to take care? You told me <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all, and any other parents. You could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid $10, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, 
Hustle did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff, poking and having fun. Y'all can, but I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now, but I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love and let's do this in peace. Because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We're stronger together. But you're older now. So you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we're going to get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep keep y'all prayers. We need it. And, and, and God going to do what he got to do. You know? I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever. That's cool too. I can live with it. I'm at peace now. I had to speak my peace. Aside from Master P making his post about DJ Twitch and Romeo probably feeling like he should have been doing more for his daughter. Um, there's a few things that I want to get into with this video. Number one. He should have been doing more for his child. That's what little Romeo was saying. I don't know what Master P was doing, but he should have been his, if his son felt like he should have been doing more, then the brother should have been doing more. And you're acknowledging a person who you don't even know. That would irritate the shit out of me if you're acknowledging someone who you don't even know, but they're on a global scale. So you made a post and acknowledging them when you had a child that did the same thing before and you... You you didn't do anything to help. It, we saw how the girl was looking up on the show. I don't want to be whatever in privacy, you know, and I don't mean anything rude or nothing like that to the family or whatnot. But you can tell on the show a few times that we did see, I think it was Shaw, at least once or twice, I know for sure. She didn't look happy. She looked like there was a difference between little Romeo and his little light-skinned sister bringing up besides her you know it, you could tell that there was a divide you could tell that master p kind of treated them a little different you always seen the other one that sings i think it was zazunique or something like that and then you always seen romeo but the darker one i don't know if it was because she was with her mom but you really didn't see her as much and romeo is acknowledging that he has been blindly following behind his father he's 33 he says for over 30 years the boy is a grown man and now it took him to having his own daughter to recognize that he cannot continue to just follow behind the footsteps of his father. No disrespect to his father. Like he said, he loves his father. He appreciated everything that he's done for him. But for years, his father has been holding up this facade. And Romeo has had it to the point where he's tired of it. It's like, when do you put down the act and really show us who Pete Miller is? Like, when do you really show us who Percy is? Because we only keep seeing Master Pete. And Romeo, has, he's tired of it. We're getting to a day and age where, man, people is going left and right. The most important thing you can have with anybody is not money, is not influence, is really time. Time is something that you cannot get back from anyone. You cannot get that. That's something that you can't get back. You can get back money. You can get back a dude, a female. You can get back money. You can get back clothes. You can get back whatever else. You can get back food. But you cannot get back somebody's time. Okay. And I think that that's one thing that little Romeo is really irritated with. And he's making it up known now. Like, I've been doing basically everything that you've told me to do. I've been doing it. I've been having your back. And today was the day that the, the straw that broke the camel's back. He is he has effing had it. How dare you uphold somebody else or acknowledge somebody else when your own child was going through a situation like this. And you didn't do half of what you're doing right now or say half of what you're saying right now he is freaking fed up and you can definitely tell and also i want to get into these people that are in the comment section and comment up under this post there's so many freaking comments under these posts that are i wish that master p was my father i wish that i grew up that way uh these kids don't understand and blah 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 first of all i get it that nobody has a book on how to be a parent. I understand that. And it ain't because I just became a parent. I've been even peeping this from my own parents. They don't, if there's there's no book that says this is what you're supposed to do. There's no Bible 
to tell you how you're supposed to raise a child step by step by step, hand by hand by hand. With you guys in this comment section talking about y'all wish, y'all wish, y'all wish, money is not, I repeat, money is not everything. Money is the root of all evil. Money does help out your situation a lot and it can help advance you and stuff like that. And it can even help you to help bless other people. That's what it's really supposed to be used for. But money and thinking that you living inside this big house and stuff like that, when a whole bunch of people and your, your favorite artists and stuff like that who are living in these houses, who are famous, who do have all these millions of billions of dollars, half of these people wish that they can walk around and be normal and stuff like that. And I know what a lot of y'all are thinking, oh, well, I'll switch places with them any day. You need to go ahead and switch places with them and take on their problems. Because a lot of this stuff that they show y'all online is happy-go-lucky. They showing you they designer clothes and shit like that. But they're not showing you that when they dad get off of the road or when they parents come home or whatever the case may be, how they really talk to them. Or if they even really talk to them. Sometimes they don't even see their damn parent or talk to them. It's they, Sometimes these people have to go through third parties and whatnot. But y'all so quick to be in these comments. To want to switch sides with people and stuff like that. And then claim how lucky people are. No. And with your parents not having no book or no, you know, no guidance on to how to actually be a parent. They're just going off of what the hell they were taught and how they were treated from when they were children. And they all say the same thing, I'm sure. When I have children, I'm going to do better. And a lot of times they try, but a lot of times they raise you the same way that they was raised. It may be just a little bit better. It may be you didn't get hit on as much or whatever. You might have had better clothing or whatever the case may be. But a lot of times they're doing the same damn thing that was done to them when they were growing up. So a lot of y'all in this comments, y'all don't know what really happened behind closed doors, but you so quick to want to switch sides with little Romeo. He's so unappreciative. No, he's been appreciative. And to me, in my, my eyes, he's been holding his daddy down and not saying nothing bad about his father for all this damn time, just up until now, with the recent passing of his sister and how he feel like, how dare you talk about another celebrity when you could have did more for your own daughter and she probably would have still been here. You could have been did a concert. You could have did a concert for your daughter's name instead of for, for this person's name. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could have just been a whole bunch of other stuff. But I totally understand where he's coming from. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comment section.